Hello, uh, let us check how to upload records on iNaturalist. So I am opening the iNaturalist app here on my phone and then it shows me my uh, statistics of identification, species, observations, etc. So there is this small add record button on the uh, right bottom corner. I'm just pressing that to add and I'm saying I want to choose images to add with this record. And now it is asking me from where <clears throat> the photo needs to be taken. So I'm just going into my photo album and selecting a couple of photographs that I want to add to this particular record. So now we you can see it is importing the images. It has also imported the date, but uh, looks like there is some uh, problem with my photo. So it has not uh, taken the location. So there is a simple trick to get my current location first. So I am just using this little button in the bottom here to choose uh, my current location. Now it shows where I am currently and then with respect to that, I know where I have taken the picture. So I'm manually um, setting the location of that particular place. Now you can see on top, it has taken the latitude and longitude values with some accuracy. So I am, I am all right with that and I'm just selecting that as my location. Now, as uh, we have uh, earlier seen, a good practice to uh, provide at least some broad level classification. So I'm saying for species, I don't know what species it is. It is giving me some uh, options, but I am not sure whether that those are those. So I'm just going to call it as a fungus. So I'm so going to have a fungi including lichen as a, a group. And I think I'm, I'm ready with my basic data, I'm just going to say, yes, my record, this is what I want to upload. So I have uh, clicked the uh, tick mark button and there I can see the, uh, see my record. I can just click on upload button so that it is uploaded on iNatural list and the uh, uh, record will be uh, available. So it is, it, is, it is saying right now preparing and it will soon upload the data. So this option is really useful so that even if you are in the field and even if you do not have any um, uh, good internet connectivity, you can always uh, keep on uh, preparing the uh, records. And then once you have good uh, Wi-Fi connectivity or internet connectivity, you can just click on that option. But if you want to do that, what you should do is you should go to your settings and you should disable this automated, automatic upload or auto sync off so that uh, to make sure that uh, when you are in the field and with smaller, with um, uh, phone connectivity, it does not use up your bandwidth as well as it, it does not um, upload a kind of half big records. Now my record is already uploaded and I can check all the all the details it takes where it was taken and it is now available for ID and I can share it uh, using this on different apps to kind of ask for ID. I can tweet about it. I can put it on WhatsApp or Telegram and things like that. And um, I can go here and provide IDs for my records. I can see uh, the photographs in the different angles and things like that. So it is, it is a very um, easy uh, to upload records even using your cell phone if uh, that is what you prefer. Although I personally prefer laptop because I can then upload multiple images. With cell phone, you have to keep on uploading, uh, sorry, multiple records. For cell phone, you can, you have to keep on uploading a single record with two or three photographs, whatever you have. So I'm sure you will uh, you will like to upload using uh, both the options. 